This lip gloss is jam-packed with pigment. The upside down starts with five big scoops of our burgundy maroon purpley pigment, and we give it a small drizzle of black liquid pigment and some blue iridescent glitter. This lip gloss is inspired by the entryway to the upside down in Stranger Things, and the end result is spot on. Since there's so much pigment going into this lip gloss, it does tend to get messy, so we take a lot of cleanup breaks. And that is just one half of this lip gloss. The second half gets five big scoops of red pigment. I can't get over how cool this looks. Powder pigments and lip gloss tend to get clumpy, so blending them for an extra few minutes is very important. This is also why I add my pigment to my oils and then mix it instead of just adding the pigment right on top of the gloss base. After the pigment mixtures are added, I follow that with our cake batter flavor oil and then we begin mixing. The upside down is my hardest lip gloss to make, not only because it's two colored, but also because these two colors are very intense. With two colored lip glosses, it's very common that the colors can clash inside the tube, but after many batches of this lip gloss, we finally got the ratios down and the colors look perfect inside the tube. This gloss is suitable for every single skin tone. It's also buildable, so if you want light coverage, put a little. If you want more coverage, put some layers. Would you wear the upside down?